Hello my friend, welcome to my channel. Today I've got KB Shimmer Just a Face for Cat and Born Pretty's Overprint L001. I've started off with Starting Over by American Classics and I'll be using Revlon Blackout as my base polish. It's a beautiful black cream polish. Got some gloss going on to it. But today I'm going to be using a duochrome, multi-chrome polish and I prefer to wear them over a dark color like this instead of having to do so many coats of it. I just That's just what works for me. Um, plus it saves on the special polish, right? <laughs> so there we go. I'm going to cap my free edge here. Sides and the tip. And there we go. Ta-da! And here is KB Shimmers just a phase. I had no idea that this was a magnetic polish. Kat and Miss Becky told me that it was. So sure enough, I gave it a try and look at this. It totally is magnetic. So I'm going to have to make me a label for that one so I remember. There we go. One nice easy coat of just a phase. And then I'm going to hold this magnet over it for I count to 15 Mississippis because that's how we do it here in Tennessee. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, but I have sped this up so you didn't have to sit through it all. Look at that. I'm going to top it with some Sesh Feet and get it to dry down. I love magnetic polishes. They just are so cool. They, and they're hard to capture on camera. Like what you guys are seeing here is not how it looks in real life. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to show y'all all of the glory. I got this. There we go. Thin that thin that out. We don't want a glob of top coat. I am going to hold the magnet over it again after the top coating just to kind of cement the deal and, you know, hopefully it'll hold it better. But look at that. Oh. So pretty. And I've got a swatch photo here for you of the polish all on its own. Look at that. Mm. I'll be using Born Pretty's Overprint L001. And this is one of the layering plates. I'm cleaning it off with some pure acetone and a paper towel. I did have to peel that blue film off. I'll be using Nicole Diary NS01, NS05, NS10, and NS03, as well as NS02 today. I got my monocle stamper and my clear jelly scraper out. And wait a minute, hold up, we gotta break out our little mat. What, what, girl, get it together. There you go. Crazy. So I'm going to start here with this one and I'm just going to tell y'all that this was my first experience with this plate. I had no idea what I was doing or even how I was doing it. And I keep trying to stamp over on my other hand. So y'all will see me do that a couple of times here in this video. But I'm just swinging it and going to roll with it and play with it. You guys are going to be on the ride. I'm going to have to use this Pro FX sticky base. That one did not want to stick to my nail. So I'm going in where it didn't stick and I'm adding a real thin coat of that sticky base. And now I'm going to try to line up the rest of this image and get it on there. I think I did pretty good. Not perfect, but pretty good. Now with these layering plates, it's, it's trial and error. Like the, when I get done with the one on my ring finger and my pinky, they don't even look like flowers. They just look like this blob nest of colors. But I was okay because I thought, well, it's kind of abstract looking, pretty cool. But it didn't look like flowers. And then on the other two nails that I'm going to do for you today, <laughs> yeah, they look like flowers, but I think I did them in the reversed order. I think I should have started on the other end and worked my way backwards from how I did it. But it's all good. That's how we learn. And I'm just plopping along here thinking I'm, you know, jamming up. <laughs> 
So this one's just looking like I threw paint at a canvas. And like I said, if you're going for an abstract look, hey, follow this, man. This is the way to go. Um, definitely. Using a little piece of tape to get up that excess that I don't want. Eh, what a hot mess. But it's abstract and cool. So then I decided to move over here to this rose, thinking, oh, I got this. And I'm doing it totally doing it backwards. <laughs> I think it'll be okay, though. I'm going to go over here, and this isn't wanting to stick. You think the girl would have learned. So, I am mushing and fighting with it, and I finally got it. So, now we're going to head on to the second stamp on this image. And my Bundle Monster Monocle Stamper, Maniology Monocle Stamper, it's got a little cut in it, so I'm going to have to get another one out of my box. But I try to get as much wear and tear out of them as I can. So as long as this one's still transferring these images, I'm going to use it. There we go. Now, like I said, I should have done this in the reversed order. Worked my way in on that design. But I didn't, and uh, it's it's... You know, this is a learning process for sure, especially for me. And I decided the red just wasn't kind of working, so I decided to do that same image in gold also. I still think it looks pretty. It looks like a rose, but I think it could look better if I'd have done it in the opposite order. And it's going to be the same thing for this one here. I think I should have started with the bigger image and worked my way down. But I'm sure a few of you might have already done this. And y'all are sitting back laughing and saying, I did the same thing. <laughs> I told you, I share everything on my channel. The successes, the failures, the learning, because that's how you do it. I don't want any of y'all to be scared to play with nail art. Just play with it. If it's wrong, it's wrong, whatever. But you learn something from it, and the next time you do it, it gets better, right? That's the way I look at it. I'm just going to, you know, keep on playing and sharing all my failures and successes. Now, this manicure was a success. I wore it to work and let people look at it. <laughs> if I had been ashamed of it, I would not have done that. I'm not ashamed of it. I'm not ashamed. And on the nails, I did use different images, and um, but I used the same colors, so I figured it would tie in pretty well, because I knew I wanted to use more than one image off of this plate. Really cool plate, though. I will be playing with it again, because now that I've learned something, um, I'd like to give it another shot and try it in the reverse order and see how and with different polishes you know sometimes I use the wrong matchup of colors uh, sometimes I nail it but you know sometimes I need it's like oh you should have used like lighter colors or darker ones so we'll see we'll see if this girl learned anything from this video now keep following me stay tuned <laughs> have it. Now I'm going to get this little bitty one up top with the gold. I had a lot of fun playing with this though. Right, wrong, it don't matter. I had a lot of fun and for me that's what counts. Ta-da! There we go. So I'm going to use the Born Pretty Smudge Free Top Coat over these. Slap some of that stuff on there had a little bit too much on the brush so I just carried it over to the next finger next fingernail so if you've got these plates or plates like these you know and you have any insight you'd like to give me go on and pass it on to me down in, down in the comments down there because I'm willing to learn I, I want to make them you know I want to make things better 
I'm going to top everything off with posh top coat and seal it all in. Like I said, I still think they're pretty. They're just not what I was expecting. Here comes my swatch photo. Like I said, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about this. I want to thank you for watching. And until next time, be good to yourself. Talk to you soon.